Hello and welcome to Ranking Genshin Characters in a Marching Band. Today I am joined by Christian Banas. Hello! Otherwise known as the voice of Toma in Genshin Impact. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I, I forgot about that. Christian and I were both marching band kids, so I, I felt like we were both distinctly qualified for this tier list. How many years did you do marching band? I was in marching band for four years in high school, and then I did like a drumming group in college for four years. I played trombone, I went to music school, I got my degree in music education, marching instructor, brass instructor. So between the two of us, I think we have quite a lot of experience. We will be ranking every Genshin character based on these categories. Starting up the top, we have the drum majors. High brass, such as trumpets or French horns. Low brass, like trombones, tubas, baritones. Woodwinds, clarinets, flutes, and sax. The drumline, snare, bass, tenor, cymbals. The pit, otherwise known as the frontline or ox percussion. And the color guard, flag core. Guess we're gonna start with Aether. Uh, what instrument has the most main character energy, would you say? But like, he doesn't talk. So like, he doesn't talk. <laughs> Ether to me speaks like third clarinet energy. Yeah, I was gonna say clarinet. <laughs> what about Albedo? Oh, this one's kind of tricky. I can see him playing the marimba for some reason. I also feel like Albedo is the kind of random guy that just plays guitar and the band director was just like, we need a guitar player. And Albedo's like, sweet. Yeah. And yeah. then he just does it and like he plays it in jazz. Either way, he's probably in the pit, Aloy. Oh, you know what she would be? She would, not the like flags, but like they toss the rifles. Yeah, or like a saber. She might yeah. be like a saber, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Amber, okay, she is giving either color guard or drum major to me. I agree with that. I totally see her as like the sophomore that became assistant drum major and everybody hates her, but she's so happy about it. <laughs> that's such a specific, that's such a canon event that happened in my band. <laughs> Too. Oh, Ito. Uh -oh. He's, he's my kind of person. He's a trombone player. You think so? I was about to claim him. I was going to say he's a bass drummer. He could be bass five because he's freakishly tall. I'm down to put him on bass as well. Although, is he capable of keeping a beat? Well, that's why he's bass five. He just has to hit on the downbeat. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> the most advanced beat keepers are on bass two, like I was. <laughs> you have to do like quick hands off of one and three. Come on, man. That's hard. Dude, I was always like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Barbara. Do she gives me flute energy. Sh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was about to say like, oh, well, sometimes the pit has like a singer, but like not usually. So we're going to put her in, under flute. What about uh, with the like the little piccolo thing? She could be a piccolo player. Ooh, Beidou. What do you think about Beidou? Beidou's tough. I could see her like a tenor sax player. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, like. Remind me, what what's a tenor sax again? Are you quizzing me? It's a low wood reason. Is that the big one? Is that the big saxophone? Think of like the alto saxophone as like the normal one you see like Kenny G playing mm -hmm. and then there's one that's just slightly bigger just a little bit that's the tenor sax what is there a bigger one yeah that's the berry sax okay that's the one I'm thinking of I was the degenerate drumline kid who didn't know anything about the wind instruments all right Bennett gives me clarinet vibes as well but I'd like to hear your opinion I agree with that Bennett is like, he's so dedicated to play the clarinet and he absolutely loves it. Yeah. But they never give him a chance to play a solo. I'm going to put him next to Aether, the clarinet boys. Chongyun, marching band is hot. All right. You got to be out there in the weather. And I don't think he would want that. So I, I want to say he would be a pit member because they don't have to face as much turbulent weather conditions. Mr. D. Luke. Ooh. I think he's like a lead baritone type. He is so yeah. tired of everybody and he's tired that his horn is the heaviest and they get the dumbest parts. The dumbest parts. Oh God, Diona. I could see Diona legitimately being a flute player, just like one in the mix, but there's so much sassiness to her that she almost feels like an alto sax player. I think either way, she's giving off woodwind vibes. Eula. I would, well, she's a dancer, so I was gonna say color guard. I also see her as a tuba player, and there's a reason why. I feel like Eula likes to go against the norm. If she, like, you know, people would think of her as a dancer. Like, yeah, of course that's obvious. <laughs> No, I'll pick whatever I want. <laughs> I could see her being marching color guard and then concert tuba. So we could put her color guard. That's, I feel that. That's a good vibe. Ooh, official. I hate to say it. Just based on her energy, she gives color guard vibes. Yeah, she's the, uh, she's the very unique girl in color guard. Yeah. And Ganyu, Ganyu's clarinet. Oh my god, yeah, Ganyu is a clarinet. Goro. He's giving me high brass vibes. I want to say French horn, specifically mellophone. Creepy Hu Tao. She screams flute player to me. What about you? I'm feeling something in the pit for her. Oh, like a marimba player? I yeah. Agree with that. I could see that. I also feel like she would really like to hit the cymbals. Drum major. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's 
like you don't even have to say your name drum major oh <laughs> cute the two monster girlies is the drum majors all right kazuha could go a couple oh. different ways you know i think he's a pit player really i think he's pit but the wind knows him flute you think he's a flute player? He, he plays he plays the leaf. What's that bird call thing you can do with your fingers? There's a bird call thing you can do with your fingers? And when you like clasp your hands together and blow between your thumbs, you know? When I do that, it just sounds like... <laughs> 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 do you want to go revisit him once we get everybody else? I can't do it. I'm on the spot. <laughs> I, I was like, what are you doing? And I just hear <laughs> lightly in the distance... <laughs> 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 anyway, that's what Kazu was doing. I'm down to put him for flute for now, but I also might want to revisit some later because I'm like, man, he does give me pit vibes. You, you, you play the harmonica. Oh. oh, he's a low brass player. Hands down a low brass player. <laughs> Tell me why my first instinct was he's a male color guard member. Oh my god, know. you're right. He could be a male color guard member. I'm cool with that. Come on, ladies. <laughs> Get into formation. Yeah. Ayaka. I don't think she's in color guard. Really? Yeah, what about you? Do you think she's color guard? You know, no, I want to hear your opinion. Hmm. Mr. Inazuma. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Putting you on the spot because I don't know. <laughs> color guard seems okay. But I do think she's a woodwind. I thought you were about to be like, you know what? Never mind. Color guard seems okay after all. No, I'm not gonna validate you. No, I'm just gonna... <laughs> oh, oh, cool, cool. I can see flute. I can see flute. Flautist Kaching. I can kind of see her being a badass snare player. Ooh, I like that. Wait a minute. I kind of yeah. like that. Um, a uh, literal child. Is she allowed to be here? She's in the pit because they felt bad for her, and they were like, yeah. "You can play the triangle." Ooh, Sara is giving me drum major vibes as well, though. I think she's rifle. She's like smacking Kai over the back of the head. <laughs> Get it together, <laughs> Miss Lisa. I don't see her playing an instrument. I think she's color guard. Yeah. Yeah. I think Lumine gives me pit vibes. Uh, like one of the lead marimba players or like- Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Mona. I think she's either a random baritone player or she plays the clarinet. I think she's a baritone player. I can't imagine Ningguang doing a damn thing in this marching band. Oh, me neither. Or she's also playing the triangle next to Klee. And then she's the one that messes up. Yeah. <laughs> Klee's like, get it together. Ooh, Noelle gives me tuba vibes. Yes, 100% agree. She is the tuba player that has her <laughs> together. She is the band director's, like, favorite student because she has it together, she plays loud, and she plays the instrument we need. Also, I'd just like to preface this. I know that there's, like, Genshin drawings that are official of them playing instruments. We're not looking at them. Wait, there are? Yeah, I don't- don't look! Don't look! I don't want to be influenced! I'm not gonna look! There better not be a single comment in the comment section like, Um, uh, d Luke played violin! Like, I don't care. Oh no. Chi-Chi? Oh no. She would never be on beat, ever. You know what? Chi-Chi's a French horn player because they never play on beat either. Alright, Miss Raiden Shogun. She's our third drum major. Or well, she's a woodwind to me. There can be three drum majors. Our band was small, but we only had two, but I feel like three is pretty common. How big was your band? My band was around like 180. We had like 70 or 80 people. It was pretty small. Oh, yeah. So two makes sense for you guys. Yeah. Okay, then let's keep it in the spirit for you and only keep two drum majors. Really? And we'll put Raiden on Woodwinds. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, I can see of her course. playing whatever Kazuha plays for some reason. Like, they, they give off a similar, like, wispiness. Your image of the Raiden Shogun and my image of the Raiden Shogun are different. I guess it's better to qualify which one we're talking about. Listen, when I recorded that scene, that was the first time I saw that character. And I was about to die. <laughs> 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 okay, well, she can shove a clarinet. Never mind. Just anyway. Don't finish that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Razor. He's a bass drummer. No. Yeah. Okay, I don't... No, he's a cymbal player. He's a cymbal player. Yeah. I agree on that. Cymbal player, 100%. All right, here. There's two varieties of cymbal players. There's the, like, I hate being here, and I'm here because I couldn't get on a drum. And then there's the people who actually really enjoy it. I feel like Razor would like it. Oh, yeah. I feel like he'd be like, crash it, Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, that's that so hard. cute. Miss Rosaria. You know how in the pit, there's always like an electric bass player? I'm down to see that. Yeah, she's cool. Kokomi. Yeah, I think she would be a flute. Or a clarinet. Yeah. We'll place her firmly in between the two categories. <laughs> Miss Sleepy Sayu, who would oh, fall man. asleep behind the wheel of whatever she's playing. For some reason, I could see her being part of the drum line and sleeping in the drum room all the time. In like one of the big boxes that they hold the bass drums in. What if she plays the cymbals because every time she hits it, she like wakes up <laughs> a little bit? Oh my god, I am down for this. It's the only way she can stay awake. Shinha. Oh, she's a bass drummer. I think she's bass three. She's bass three. Sucrose, clarinet. 
Oh, really? <laughs> okay, I'm cl I could see clarinet, but I also see her being uh one of the vibes. Wait, where's Albedo? Albedo's in the pit, so yeah, we can. Sorry to typecast, but like, I think that'd be cute. Our first trumpet player. Yes, I, knew it. <laughs> I was like, there's no trumpets. You're like, I can see one, and my eyes went. <laughs> yeah, he's the kind of trumpet player that does the trumpet handshake. Do you know the trumpet handshake? I know the bass drummer handshake. <laughs> What's the bass drummer handshake? I'm not telling. You're not a bass drummer. <laughs> Wow, but the trumpet handshake is you go up to someone, you shake their hand and go, hi, I'm better than you. Also, dude, I cannot tell you the effect my brain just had when you were talking and I just looked at this man's face. I was like, whoa. All right, I'm giving this one to you. Dude, he's the trombone player that thinks he's the band director. Yay! Easy. Easy. I clocked him as a trombone player before I even met you. Wow. Toma is the popular trombone player who's like really nice and all the freshman girls have a crush on him. <laughs> I'm glad we agree. Venti the bard. Venti feels like a woodwind or a pit player, but I want to lean towards woodwind. He plays the harp thing, though, so like... I also think, like, Ningguang is, like, someone that could also play something elegant like the harp. But right. I put her in pit because she had pit vibes. You know what? Let's just put Venti in the pit. Xiangling. Is she a trombone player? She could be a trombone player. Mr. Xiao. Drumline. Probably like a tenor player that didn't want to play Yes. Tenor. I was going to say tenor. Like, he was secretly practicing for months in his basement, but it's like, yeah, whatever. He's just like, yeah, marching band's okay. And then once you go to his basement, he's got like 17 practice pads. He's got yeah. like all the fancy Remo sticks and all that stuff. Yep. All right, Sing Cho. I get random high brass or low yep. brass vibes. I get French They're horn. Probably high brass. French horn, yeah, that's mm -hmm. fair. Ooh, Xinyan, she plays guitar, pit. so she can go in the pit with Rosaria. Yai yeah, Miko. I see flag. You see flag? That's fair. I could see her being in flag. When she does her incantations, she has like a flag-like motion to, it's hard oh. to explain, you know? That's completely fair. All right. All right, Yanfei. Trumpet. Yeah. Yo, Mia. I'm leaning towards low brass. Or, okay, when I played bass drum, it's like, I like the feeling of it going boom, you know, because she likes fireworks. <gasps> I, I could agree with that. I'm down to make that switch. I'm claiming her as base four. You think base four? Because the the lower they are, the boomier they get, you know? That's true. And then her and Ita next to each other as the four or five combo would be really funny. Yunjin is absolutely clocked as a color guard. Yeah. She has like color guard move sets. Um, oh, this guy's the freaking band director. Zhongli? <laughs> Should we do a band director category? Yes, 100%. Wait, can we add Ningguang to that? Ningguang is like the sponsor. We're just gonna generally put like, should I change it to- Band director slash staff. Excellent. Ayato. Can he be like the costume staff? Yeah, we could put him on staff. He, oh, he could be the visual instructor. He does give me visual instructor vibes. Okay, Shinobu, I think she would be in drumline and I think she would play bass. Oh yeah, hands down. Not to pair her with Ito like I always do, but she's bass too. That's me. Yelon. But she might be a staff member. Yeah, you know what? I think she would be a staff member as well. Why is the staff so shady? It's banned. <laughs> it's banned. <laughs> it's banned. Hazo giving me drumline energy. He's definitely a snare player yeah yes our snare players were like constantly playing hacky sack and like throwing their sticks and trying to stick them up in the ceiling and like oh yeah for sure <laughs> i'm just picturing him just goofing off tons of chops he's the one that like goes crazy with all like the casey claws and all that stuff tignati clarinet he's a man of the forest with wood and such <laughs> he could be a bassoon player too but can he play oboe he could play oboe yeah, I'll allow it. <gasps> She's the trumpet player that wants to be drum major because of Amber. Ah, I love that. That's cute. That's cute. And she's like gun. She's a sophomore and she's gunning to be the junior drum major next year. Yes. Saxophone player. Absolutely, Dory. Saxophone player. And she <laughs> stole it at the end of the season. <laughs> Candace. She's either the brass section leader or she's like lead snare. I can see her being like a tuba player. Are we talking sousaphone or are we talking the tuba that goes over your shoulder? We had the sousaphone, but I think the ones that go over your shoulder look a lot cooler and I can see her doing that. Then you know what? She is the brass section leader and she keeps bugging her band director about getting contras, but he goes, no. And she's like, I can handle it. Right, <laughs> like, exactly. No. And Noelle's over here like two feet shorter than her. I can handle it too. Yeah, Noelle's just like, being a trooper. I know. I love the idea of Sino being this like kind of quiet guy and he just busts out careless whisper. Oh my god. All right, Nilu. Oh, color guard. Yeah, I, I think there's no other option for Nilu other than color guard. She could probably be the lyrical soloist that happens for most field shows. Oh, I love that. That would be lovely. Layla. Pit. 
<laughs> if you can't stay awake, you're either playing the cymbals or you're in the pit. I feel like flute would be really cool. Or piccolo. Piccolo would be cute. Yeah, piccolo. Yeah, I'm yeah. down for that. Yeah, piccolo. Farazon, saxophone. <laughs> just no basis, just saxophone. We're just, just reading saxophone. people based on vibes at this point. <laughs> she is killer in jazz band. Scaramouche. I see him as a low brass player. I see him as a cymbal player. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. He's he also the... hates his life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Razor and... Sa no, okay, Razor loves cymbals. Scaramouche wanted to be snare so bad, and he got on cymbals. Trumpet player. <laughs> I think he's either trumpet think? or he plays the snare drum. I'm down for either or. Do we have enough snare drummers for a line? I think we only have two. We only have Hazel oh, yeah, and put Kaching, so we need another one. He He's the snare drummer who's like really proficient, but like doesn't really care. That's fair. Or he could think he's too good for his marching band. Yow, yow. She's got jingle bells in her hair. She's got to be in the pit. She just shakes her head. Dia. Wait, can she be the berry sax? Yes. Yeah. I'm down for that. <laughs> Mika. Oh, French horn player. French horn. Wait, oh, I was feeling clarinet. He's like not sure of himself and he always like squeaks the clarinet. Oh. Dude, I can imagine him and Bennett sitting next to each other where he squeaks and Bennett's like, that's okay, I do it too. And Bennett breaks his clarinet. <laughs> Baiju is gonna pass out on the field. Marching band is too hot for him. He has medical oh, conditions. He also, okay, he coughs a lot. He can't play a wind instrument. Illegal. Oh yeah, so he's definitely pit. Or he could be color guard. Or he could be staff and just be like a medical person. Um, I think we should put Baiju in the color guard. Okay, I'm down. Kabe, this is a hot take because I feel like some people might say he's color guard or like a flute player, but like... Base one is extra, okay. Base one is really hard. I also don't know Kave too much, so I'm gonna rely on your opinion a bit more there. Reliable, but he's also a little bit of a diva. It sounds like a trumpet player. Yeah? <laughs> Who am I gonna put on base one? Okay, you know what? To be honest, I only put him on base one because we need one, but <laughs> I think you're right that he's more of a trumpet player. Kirara. I personally claim her in the low brass land as a trombone player myself. Yeah? You, you feel the energy? Yeah, I feel, the, I feel she's a low brass player. All right, this is your squad. Yes. Wait, I need another bass drummer. Imagine maybe down the road, like there's auditions and uh, Wanderer's just like, yes, I'm going to be a snare player. And, he and he's bass one. Two. <laughs> <laughs> bass one or bass two. <laughs> Wait, yeah, okay. Scaramouche's first year, he's symbol, And then his second year, he's just... Phase one. And he's even more mad. All right, I feel pretty good about this. How do you feel? I feel pretty great about it. I'm like looking at the list. I thought I was going to question some of them after, but after going through all of it, I think I'm good with this. Baiju is the only one I'm looking at. Really? What do you think? Final consideration. I'm going to put Baiju in the pit because I don't think he should be moving around all too much with his health issues. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he's either playing marimba or he can play like timpani or something. All right, I agree with that. I feel like this is good. I think this is good. Yeah, I'm happy with this. All right. Well, thank you, Christian, for joining. This was super fun. This was a blast. Always, you know, if you ever want to do more, I'm happy to do it. I know this was an extremely specific tier list, but w the second we got recommended this, I was like, I have to reach out to Christian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you reached out to me for this one. Also, if you guys would like to check out Christian's VA work, he has a few things coming up soon. If you you want to tell them about it love in taipei gonna be on paramount plus streaming i'm in there i'm a bunch of voices in the background which is really cool to be in a movie also there's this book called the borrow a boyfriend club they were really inspired by orin high school club so think of that but in a book in like modern ya times it's really cool and i'm the audiobook narrator and i get to voice <gasps> like a billion different hot guys <laughs> The audiobook for that is coming, I believe, in September. So if you guys can pre-order it, it's amazing. It's me reading a whole book, and it was very fun. I love that. All right. Well, thank you again to Christian for joining. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to give any more tier list suggestions you have in the comments below. And also subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> the way you said it sounded so aggressive. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.